Chapter 26 Justine Plus One The sound of heels striking tile was bold, confident, and purposeful. Richard looked up from his web search about recalling a company-wide email and saw Justine step around the corner as she returned from the restroom. In an instant, Richard's crippling anxiety melted away. It was the way Justine held herself. The assured right angles of her narrow shoulders, the definitive step in her stride. Her chin canted upward at an imperceptible degree, and her eyes were locked forward. There was something completely foreign and yet somehow totally familiar about her. Like the day before, Richard found himself truly noticing and appreciating Justine's figure. She was shorter than Tess, more compact with a darker complexion. Her eyes were piercing and confident, drawing Richard in with their intensity. Unlike yesterday, Richard was surprised to feel a deep sense of appreciation to this woman he had worked across from for so many years. That attraction, a powerful and almost spiritual kind of desire and familiarity, overwhelmed Richard's debilitating shame while sending something warm and tingling through his extremities. Was this what attraction felt like without an erect penis stealing blood from his brain? Or was this something else altogether? Was this... love? And then Brad fucking Johnson opened his mouth. He winked lasciviously at Justine. Are you ready for that talk now, babes? Babes. That's what he called Tess. How the fuck did this asshole get away with being so shitty? Justine stopped between her desk and Richard's. She seemed to consider something for a brief moment before turning decisively toward Brad. Justine stood directly in front of him as he sat on the edge of the couch. She crossed her arms and looked down at him. Brad's gaze took a leisurely stroll up her body before his head craned up to meet her eyes. Richard could tell the asshole was breathing her in and getting off on her near-intimate closeness. Double-ass shit-fucker. After the onset of such a profound sense of attraction, Richard wasn't surprised he felt jealous of Brad. What did surprise him was how he kept finding himself in situations to be jealous of this misogynistic jackhole for fuck's sake. You want to do something, Justine asked, dropping a hand to touch Brad's cheek. Brad leaned closer. Oh, you know it. Fuck Tess, right? Justine said, fingers caressing down that perfect square jawline. I mean, that's what you're good at. That's what I keep hearing, at least. Brad looked confused. On the one hand, Justine's gentle touch had its desired effect. On the other hand, this aggressive, direct talk about Tess was probably too much for Brad's tiny brain. Justine's hips started swaying back and forth in front of Brad's face. She dragged her fingers through his perfect blonde hair. Yeah, fuck her, babes. What she doesn't know, after all. Right, babes? Justine said. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Ow! Justine's other hand joined the first, and she pulled at his hair. The side-to-side -side sway of her hips shifted to a gentle, in-and-out thrust. With her fingers twisting in his hair, Justine pulled his head down until he was looking right at her crotch. Let's meet in the ladies in five, she whispered. I'll help you forget about whatever you want, babes. She was wearing a black knee-length skirt, and the color had helped obscure the prominent bulge. Now, Richard watched as Brad's eyes went wide, and a mask of putrid disgust seized his face. Yo! Someone call for a little mailroom expertise?
Chuck asked as he stepped into the executive suite, throwing down a rapid snare and a hi-hat beat, immediately followed by a trumpet that weakened and wavered as soon as Chuck saw what he had stepped into. Ugh! Brad shoved Justine away by the hips, immediately yanking his hands back as if he had touched something toxic. He shot up from the couch, scooting away from Justine. That's... Oh! He gagged. Get away from me with that thing! Ah, oh, Jesus, fuck! You're a goddamn tranny! Richard's brain short-circuited as he stared at Justine in disbelief. The reality of what happened was as plain as the gently undulating bulge underneath her skirt. Justine had found Richard's missing dick. But how was that even possible? Justine lifted a shoulder, indifferent to Brad's hostile, and wholly expected, display of transphobia. Just another unevolved caveman who jacks off to things blowing up. Whatever, no skin off my dick, babes, but you have no idea what you're missing. Brad screwed his face up and choked. Ugh, I ain't missing dick. Fuck, what is wrong with you? Justine shot an up nod at Chuck. Hey, you want to make out? Chuck silently pointed at himself in confusion, glancing quickly around the suite for executive eyes. Uh, sure? I mean, yeah, totally. Justine turned back to Brad, who had pressed himself awkwardly against the wall. See, Brad, you should be more like Chuck. And then Richard watched as Justine grabbed the front of Chuck's shirt, pulling him in for a deep, passionate kiss. The bulge in her skirt throbbed. Brad squirmed and gagged again. Ugh, the mail clerk? Richard swallowed hard, transfixed as Chuck pressed his own crotch into the bulge in Justine's skirt. Even Chuck was getting more action with Richard's own dick than Richard himself. Brad held a hand over his eyes. Ah, come on! Justine's desk phone buzzed, and she pulled away from a mystified, but happy, Chuck. She bumped his shoulder with her fist. Not bad. Thanks, pal. Chuck blinked, almost in a daze. Uh, uh, sure, I mean, yeah. Justine tapped the speaker button on her phone, her tone shifting to business. Yes, sir. Dorian King told her to send Brad in. After cutting the speaker, Justine turned to Brad, giving him that same lascivious wink he had greeted her with. You're up, babes, Justine said. And if you want my advice, try not to be as big a pussy with him. He really doesn't respond well to that. Brad winced in confusion. Justine pushed the CEO's door open, smiling warmly. Right this way, Mr. Johnson. <laughs>